the boss, if that's all right, managing director of Jardine Engineering. We were probably the biggest M&E, mechanical and electrical contractors in Hong Kong at the time. Yes. And so through that business, I knew all the um, developers and so on, one of which was, of course, um, Mr. Lee, who was uh, in those days you know, pretty moderate in size, and he was, a, he was a property developer. That was his main business. And so I knew him through that. Bill Wiley had gone, and he had, he had three senior directors over there. They were plotting with an American company to do a raid on Hutchison. Nice, huh? Without telling him. He discovered it. So he was going to fire all three of them in one go. And an intermediary of his suggested that he approach me. So he rang me up one day. So KS wants to see you tonight for a drink. Out of the question. It's Friday evening. I've already got a dinner this evening over on Lama. No. Um, well, all right, what about tomorrow, Saturday morning? No, I'm playing golf at Shaka tomorrow morning. Murray, for God's sake, I'll see him on Monday, right? No, you've got to come tonight. Anyway, eventually, okay, I will come for one drink. I went over to CKS, and he's sitting there with a couple of other guys and the intermediary. Simon, how are you? I'm fine. Simon, we, um, we need to find a new CEO for Hutchison. Yeah? It, it can't happen, KS, yes, because I've got my own company. And Rothschild own 50%. Simon, so we buy the company. Well, okay, it's not for sale. I mean, the Rothschilds have told me they will never sell. Simon, <coughs> so everything for sale. Price. Just how much? Why did you call them? So it was Friday evening, I think it was about 6 o'clock, so 10 o'clock in London. And instead of picking up the phone, I just dialed, so it's a speaker phone, without thinking. So the Rothschild guy is on the other end, KS can hear him, okay? So I spoke to, I said, I want to speak to Mr. Michael Richardson, he was one of the three managing directors of Rothschilds, he was a guy I dealt with at all. Michael, you'll never guess what's happened. What's happened? KS Lee wants to buy the company. What? So I thought he would say, never, over my dead body. He didn't. He said, how much? <laughs> and Kenya said, see Simon, he wants to sell. He will sell the company anytime. Shoot, thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay, so well, well, what are we selling it for? It was $20 million US. US. Yeah, quite wow. nice. Yeah, yeah so I was happy. pretty happy. Okay? Yeah. And Simon, you become CEO, yeah, and uh, you come to a board meeting in August or whatever it was and do the whole thing. The three who were leaving, mm. they didn't know that they were leaving. <laughs> and he said, this is uh, Mr. Simon Murray. Come and sit next to me, Simon. So Simon is going to be the new um, CEO. Well, existing CEO. <laughs> what, what is happening? <laughs> and I had seen Simon Keswick, who was by that time running Jardy Massa, yes. the night, three nights before, or a week before, whatever it was, and uh, we had been playing bridge. And uh, when we finished the bridge, uh, we were all saying goodnight. It was quite late. And I said, um, can I have a couple of words with you? <coughs> yes, what's new? I'm joining Hutchison tomorrow. Hutch Hutchison? I mean, public enemy number one. So. Yeah, what, what are you doing? I'm going to be the CEO. The CEO of Hutchison? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, calm down, everybody calm. Um, so it was quite an eventful moment. Nobody knew about it. It was all over the, you know, the, 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 the newspapers and the Economist in London. This guy Murray, ex-legionnaire, all that stuff. There